The Resources tab is a location that shows you a list of the resources or assets that you're using to help facilitate the operations in your manufacturing company. Uh, these typically would consist one of three things. Either A, maybe a person. A lot of the small manufacturing companies that are using Katana will use will dedicate a resource by the name of a person. Uh, so and if you have a very simplified manufacturing process and you don't need, let's say, a complicated floor app, you might just simply put a person's name as a resource. Additionally, you might set up something as a workstation, like the assembly station or the packaging desk. Uh, in other cases, you could have a tool. Um, a tool could be like a sewing machine number one or sewing machine number two. And these would be the locations for which an operation would be performed. A couple of areas where uh, this becomes important on the manufacturing side is, let's say I am making something, let's say it's uh, fabric or textiles, and I have to go through sewing machine process and I have three sewing machines on my manufacturing floor, I would have those three sewing machines available at certain times. So if I have two of them occupied, for a manufacturing process, then I could use the one that's available in order to push some product through at that given point in time. So you can do you can use resources for the concept of helping you know what items or locations are available on your factory floor. You can use it to uh, document or uh, specify an individual person who might be making something. For example, maybe you have a product that is paid for by the piece that's made. Um, this could be a simple assembly process. Um, we do have one customer that was actually um, making jewelry and their workers got paid for every single unit of jewelry that was made. So they would put their names here and then count against that. So that way they were able to specify how much uh, that person was paid. So there's a lot of different ways to do it, um, especially if you're a newcomer or a small manufacturing company uh, who are very first time ever using an MRP system, then in the essentials package, this is very, very easy way to, um, to facilitate that, that type of need. Now, when you get into the more advanced, let's say pro package users, then the resource kind of becomes more uh, workstation focused. So at that stage, you might have like a dedicated location, but you could have multiple people doing operations at that location. So you have operators who are your employees that are working at a workstation. And so you might want to schedule your employees to be at those workstations or working on those dedicated resource locations when they're performing the operations in real time while you're manufacturing. So those are some other areas that are covered in the uh, in the in the shop floor app, which is for the pro package customers. Here you can also define a default cost per hour. So what does this mean? This means that when you're creating the operations for your products, which gets kind of which gets covered in the um, in the uh, in when we start adding products into Katana, then you will see that there's a default cost per hour if that resource is specified as the main resource for that operation. So for example, if I am creating a product and I have an operation called painting, which you'll find here. Oh, actually we don't have painting on this one, but if I have an operation called painting, then I can assign it to the paint booth which is the location where it's performed. And then every time that operation is performed, it's done so at $15 per hour. So this will automatically help formulate the cost of that manufacturing process for that product, for that operation, uh, when this specific resource is specified. So that's an interesting way to look at it. Um, and this is the location where you'll find a list of all of those resources. Again, you can add and delete them from this page, but also additionally, um, you'll add or you'll be able to add resources directly on the, um, the product card when we start adding those products into Katana.